guys welcome back to the channel this is tanya side gig crafts hey you guys today's been a busy day it's been a little crazy um rocking back and forth between uh adulthood and i don't care <laughs> right now i'm uh i bribed myself i bribed myself that if i would clean the bathroom i could craft a little bit longer and then i have to go do something else again Ooh, let's turn on some more light so here we are we're crafting again some of you may have seen the video the other day. By the way, thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here. You guys, you don't know how much you mean to me, but you mean the world to me. I'm so, so glad you're here and that you choose to spend time with me. I know you could be anywhere, but you're spending time with me. And I thank you for that, each and every one of you. So some of you may have seen the video the other day where I did this background on a Barbie card. I absolutely love how it turned out. So I actually started doing some on book page today. I wanted to make something fun. So I'm going to show you, if you didn't see that video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did one of these. And then we're going to use the rest of these and start creating some fun. So this is the, this is the die that I, that I got from Timu. And this is the one I've been using. It turns out that way. And you could use it any way you want, but this is what I did. So let's start with, let's start with our pinks. I used three shades of pink. I used Spun Sugar, Kitsch Flamingo, and Picked Raspberry. I'm going to start with the lightest first. And I got two brushes. One for the pinks, one for the greens. Let's start with the lightest pink first. Now you could tape this down if you feel more confident with that, but I'm just going to kind of go in, um, just kind of go in and do my thing. I'm just going to hold it still. I just love how this turned out and I just want to make some things for for um, some journals that are upcoming and I actually have one I want to put some of this into I'm gonna use some of my scraps and um, at least one of these pockets that I want to make and I'll show you what I'm talking about in a little bit actually we can make tags we can make all kinds of things basically we're making our own background paper aren't we yes we are you guys, can you tell I've had some tea this afternoon? It's a little highly caffeinated, I'm afraid. I don't know what it is about this tea. This Milo's tea, I get the uh, sugar-free version. I don't know if the other one does the same way, but I cannot sleep when I drink this stuff. So I know it's got to be highly caffeinated because I can drink soda all day long with no issues. But listen to me talk. <laughs> I'm like on fast mode. All right, so let's go ahead in with the, this is the, Kitsch Flamingo. I'm going to go a little bit lighter with this one. Not as big of a spot. Just kind of, you know, basically a highlight. You may not be able to tell the three pinks apart, but I think it still makes a difference on the card. On the, on the final... I'm saying card because I made a card with it before. But I mean background. Okay, that's good enough for that one. Dab dab. And then we're going to go in with the picked raspberry, which is the darkest. Now this one, I want to use light handedly towards the middle of the flowers because that's where flowers usually are the darkest, just towards the middle. So I'm just kind of using the tip of the brush with a little bit of ink on there and just kind of going in the middle, just like that. Now, next I'm going to use the greens, but I want to kind of wipe this a little bit so that my colors don't mix on the brushes and really so that they kind of don't mix so much on the stencil either because it's a non-porous non-porous material they can slide pretty easy so I'm going to just kind of wipe that off briefly holding it in place the best that I can I'm not I'm not worried about this being perfect in any way now, I love, love, love this color. And when I first did this, I wasn't sure about these two greens together, but the they're really the only ones I have. I'm really glad I did it because it adds a really cool, really cool effect to have the both greens in there. And I'm feeling a little bit like that. Archival's coming through instead of the teal here they're both on this brush but I wiped it off I don't know hopefully it's still coming through I'm 
So I did get some adulting done today. I uh, was able to contact the tr the car place to talk about my truck. They think that it just needs to be topped off, that it probably isn't a sensor. So he gave me some, told me to do some things. So I'll, I'll get to that Ooh, when it cools off a little bit more this evening. I've got to go to the grocery store and that would be a good time to go ahead and top it off, make sure it's not leaking. And he said if it's still having problems after that, then definitely we need to get another shop for that. But I'll take it in for the tire fix tomorrow. I've got an appointment for that. So see, I did some adulting. Not nearly as much as I should have this last five days, but four days. I have one more day off. <laughs> we'll see what I get done tomorrow. You guys, I'm only laughing at myself because, you know, it happens every time. It's like, oh, if I just had some time off and then it's not wasted. Don't get me wrong. I Some people would probably think so, but I didn't do it doing all the things I thought I should be doing. But I have a list and I've gotten a few things taken care of. Still got to do the fish tank. Rocky's still sitting here staring at me like, uh, hello, did you forget me? Did not, did not forget the green fish tank sitting next to me. Okay, there we go. So I got all those colors in there. Look how beautiful they just blend together so nicely. Such a gorgeous stencil. You guys, I'm going to try to find this one in the in my orders and set you up with that so that you can order that this one too if you love it. I absolutely love this one. I think I think I may have accidentally ordered an extra. But we'll see. So sometimes I will go because I do the affiliate program and my personal sometime a lot of times I will go into the um, each account forgetting what I ordered in the other one. And um, I'll have, or I'll have it in my basket and forget to take it out. So I love to, I love even more than buying this stuff. I love shopping for it and finding fun things. And then when it's time to shop, I go back in and I delete a bunch and make it a much more reasonable sized basket. So sometimes I forget to remove things. And so sometimes I end up with extra like die cuts. Some of the die cuts I, I don't want extras of, but some of them like numbers and letters, I don't mind because when you're doing a project and you need like, 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 um, advent calendars, you need those numbers more often than once. So you can cut multiples at the same time. Now I'm saving all these because look how pretty they are. Look at that. I can edge something with that. Be gorgeous in a journal. So what I did, I tore these down. Now, I've been watching so many videos these last few nights. The other night I could not sleep for anything. I was up till five o'clock in the morning watching videos because I just could not sleep. Did I just throw that towel down? Yes, I did. I got a little ink on there. Didn't mean to. Little schmutz. That may or may not come off. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Okay, it's a junk journal, we don't care. Okay, so here's what I wanna do with this. This side is plain book paper, okay? And that's fine. We're going to go ahead. It doesn't matter what the measurements are because you can do these any size you want. We're going to go ahead and fold this up this way. Bone folder is here. This is not particularly old paper. This is just a book that I'm using as a glue book or for, you know, just to use the pages. Saved it from the bookstore kind of thing. And then we're going to cut this down. So this, we need to be, this is four and a quarter, four and a quarter. I'm gonna go, let's see. I think we're gonna cut this to three. We are gonna cut it to three. And I should have checked the other one. Huh? Three by what? four and a quarter four and a quarter by four hey that turned out to be four and a quarter by four and a quarter so I want to go four and a quarter this way I'll cut that pink off actually I'm gonna go just a little bit wider just barely like by an eighth or so 
just to give me a little more room to play. And what I'm going to do You know what would be really cute that we should do on one of these is do gussets. I'm not going to do it on this one, but maybe the next one. That's all we're going to do. Okay, I'm going to put some tape on this one. Put some tape on this one. Use any double-sided tape. It works pretty well. Probably better than liquid glue. And pull that off of there. Because so we all know how difficult vellum can be. This doesn't have to go all the way down to the crease. It can go, but I do want it to be straight, so it's not straight. What? Okay. Maybe what we could do is put it this way. That would probably be a better idea and then fold this down on it. There. All right, I'm glad I left a little bit of room just in case we got it a little crooked. And then what I'd like to do See, I'm debating if I can want to sew it or not. I think I'm just going to put tape up the sides. Let's make it easy. Let's make it easy on myself. Of course, I could spend more time crafting if I sew it, but I'd only be making one thing. So we'll go ahead and put tape up the side. I think that will be okay. Let's see if it shows. I'm not sure if this will show or not. If it does, we'll use glue on the next one. No, it doesn't. That's great. Okay. So we'll use grandma's scissors and trim up here. Now sewing is still something I could do to make this even and more amazing. You could also decorate the other side of the page that you have something decorative back here. But I really, truly like the difference the, um, of the papers to have the contrast between the decorated and the not. So I kind of really like that. What does it say? Go eat your bread in gladness. <laughs> okay, it's talking about evil and good and evil. Um, I don't know what book that was. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious now. So let's put some trim on here. Let's turn on the glue gun. I still have this morning's project sitting up here. I need to put it over by my sewing machine so I can sew it. Let's put some pretty ribbon. Just something fun. Just a little something something. That might not show real well. Some blue would be fun because it would bring out the teal. That's cute, but a little babyish. It looks a little baby nursery. Not necessarily a bad thing, just not what I'm aiming for. We could use... Oh, I don't have a lot in here I want to use. Where's my other box? I can use this one. This one is cool. This one is this one. Kind of feel the same way about that one. But not as much. Maybe we could put this one and then this one on top of it. Maybe. Um, looking for twine. Looking for twine. I don't want gold. I want blue, pink, P, 
pink twine, maybe. That would be nice. I have an idea. But I don't know. I think I'll wrap the twine around the bottom. Let's go across here. Is this ready? try to cover up that caption. That's weird. <laughs> I really don't know what this book was. And it didn't glue because my glue is not hot enough. this time and see if I can kind of flatten that out a little. Hope you guys are doing great. I really do. It's a beautiful day here. Nice and hot. Everybody's kind of Trying to stay inside here, here at the house. So, and then you can put, you know, your little things in there, whether it be little scraps or whatever. And then we could put, we could put a button here, or some lace trim. Um, I'm looking at a perfect, a perfect applique, but it's already on something. Got these buttons. I don't know about that. We could add some of this. This would be cute. Let's add that on there. It's sitting here. Might as well use it. I think this is the first day this week I haven't taken a nap. See, I'm getting things done. <laughs> Embarrassing. Lazy bones, huh? Got one more day of it, and then back to the grind. If anybody wants to sponsor me so I never have to work again, I'm all for it. I'll just do this. I'll just stay in my craft room all day, every day. See, I could have put that in there. That would have been really pretty too. Maybe we can put this on the next one. Something like that would be gorgeous right there. I could still put it. I don't know why not. Trim that back. I wonder if I'm going to ruin I don't want to ruin those. Um. I'm sure I have a wire cutter somewhere. We'll just do this. Is that cute? I think so. Kind of form these leaves to come up a little bit. Flowers too, and then we could put something here as well. Maybe a bow. We could make should make a bow out of this. Maybe. Wait, I heard I saw a better different way to do this. Go up and around, and then this way, 
it was the opposite of what I do normally. Did that work better? It kind of. I need to learn how to make those again. That was one of the videos I watched the other day. How to make pretty bows. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm doing it all wrong all these years. All these years. Should we put that on there like that? Or does that look stupid? Stupid. I think it's alright. I shouldn't ask if it looks stupid because somebody's going to tell me it does. <laughs> Don't, don't tell me it does. <laughs> Be nice. Okay. Better planning for the next one. I actually like how it's coming out. It's good. There. That's kind of cute, right? And it's fairly flat enough. I think it can still go just fine in a journal. It's got the opening. We could have trimmed these corners a little bit. In fact, we can just do this. Boop. Boop. And we can distress the edges. How about that? Go with this one. Sewing would still be nice on here. On the edges, let's go around the top first. And here at the bottom. You could put a clasp on it. I don't want to go too dark because the inside of this envelope isn't distressed and there's no way I can get back in there so it would look a little out of place to try to make it look too distressed. But I think that's nice. I do. I do. I do. Now we can put something fun in there. Cute pocket, right? Alright, what's next? Maybe not so elaborate on the next one. Let's go a little more simple. Or we can make something totally different. How about we can make some tags. Do a taller one. I think these are all the same. Okay. We can make some tags out of them. Now because it's just book paper, we do need something on the back if we're going to make a tag out of it. How about this brown paper that's just sitting here? How about... How about I like this brown paper. I think it's a good idea. How about, let me see if there's any others. This one's already cut. And I'm liking the fact that I can mat it. Let's trim that part off. Make sure it's straight. with the sizes. This is two and a half, so let's go to two and a quarter. And then this is five and three fourths tall, so we'll go to five and a half. Just under five and a half. And look at that. How pretty is that? sort of straight. And now we've got a little nice little book card or something. We can kind of go around the edges here. Do 
do a little distressing. Probably sew around it. We can put a hole in the top of it for a ribbon. Um, hello, why is that tangled on there? Give me the right tool. See you guys, you say enough comments about me being messy and I start putting things away and lose them. <laughs> paper on the back here so somebody could write on it and I feel like I had some of that here but I can do that later all right next what else can we do this one could be a belly band now I would want to back this one as well not quite long enough Too long, which could be cut, but it would be too strong, I'm afraid. Let's see. We could just back it up onto other book page. How about that? Not that one though, because that one's blank. So that would be a good one to hold on to. So my thought is, if I fold this in half and glue it shut, which would be great if I had a glue... Oh, I have a glue stick. I have a glue stick. I never use glue stick. Let's use this thing. I don't even know if it's any good. Looks like it is. This would be one of those things I would use glue stick for. Glue the glue page down. We can double it up. Bleh, I'm recording. <laughs> hey, but my crock pot showed up. We can go to the grocery store if you need if you want to get food pretty soon. Um, I need practice driving anyway. Perfect. I was actually about to ask if you needed to go anywhere. I do. That'll work out just great. Whoop, whoop. All right, we'll, glue, we'll liquid glue this one though. That means I have to get dressed. There we go. I had the most awesome idea today, you guys. I realized with this ocean journal that I'm doing, I have got some pictures in my bathroom of my grandfather and family at the beach. Wouldn't that be fun to print those out and use them in that journal? I think it would. All right, and then I'll sew around this one to make it, make it fun. And we will ink it up. So this will be a belly band. Look at all the things, all the things we can do. I was also thinking about using some of this paper to, I'll have to use a blank one though, to um, make digis, digitals on and share with you guys. I keep saying these things and I wanna do it. Again, if anybody's interested in <laughs> sponsoring me, <laughs> So I can just stay home and craft all the time, taking applications. <laughs> all right, there is a belly band for a journal eventually. I don't know which one yet, but potentially I could use this one. You guys, I put the bind, I finally bound this one together. I know you haven't seen this one in a minute. Some of you may have never seen this one before. Oops, my tape is sticking to the table. Um, but it was so, so full that I couldn't, 
I couldn't use all the pages. I finally got, I finally took some out and made some decisions and I bound it. And then I put this on the inside. This is one of those things I did this week. Isn't that great? So there's some things in here and I need to put some things in here. See, this would go very well in this journal, but I still want to sew that. So some of these things definitely could go in here. I don't have a lot of work left to do in this one. So this is, uh, I'm hoping that some of this can go in there. So yeah, that's part of the drive to get those done. And let's see. What else can I do with it? I've got a couple more. Let's make one more pocket. Now we don't have to use the vellum either. We can just fold this this way. And thumb notch it. Or don't. And then we can just fold this over this way. It's a shallow pocket, but it's a pocket nonetheless. just glue up this side, glue up this side, we will even round these corners, how about that? Isn't that cute? We could put a little tab on here to hold it shut, which we will do. Let's see. Let's ink this first. Oh, I didn't make the one with the gusset, did I? That takes a lot of thought. Let's ink around it. needing pockets for my journals and other fun things. Forgot to ink this part up, but we can just kind of hold it up and use this this way. Doesn't take much anyway. back a little bit. We've got a beautiful pocket. Now what we can do to close it, we can make a little, a little button. I could even use this color. Wouldn't that be fun? Too much? Yeah, too much. How about that piece of brown go? Because I was really pretty with it. We could use this one? No. I don't want to use that big square. Wasn't there a small piece left? Show me. Show me, show me. Maybe not. Maybe I... What's that? Oh, it's a smaller piece, at least. I'd rather cut that than the big old square. Let's put that one on top. Hang on, I want to think I want to shrink this a little bit. Just a little. There's a flat end on both sides, so it's too... It's a little too big there. I don't think that's a perfect circle, but I think we're okay. Let's glue 
these two together. this one to it. And that's what I wanted, just a little tiny border. That's great. And then we'll just put this one here. And that'll hold it shut. It just kind of slips right behind there. Perfection. All right, you guys. Well, I guess it's time to go do some more, some more adult stuff. So we've got a pocket, a tag, and another fancy pocket. We've got a belly band. So I'll do some sewing to them, but I think that's a great start. I think that's um, a fun addition to any crafting journaling pack. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys will give it a try. Get out your crafty fun goodies and uh, have some play. Playtime. All right. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.